Okay, folks, here we have a, a homemade uh, Edison tinfoil phonograph to give you an idea of what the original looked like. Uh, here's a picture of Thomas Edison with his original tinfoil phonograph from 1878. Now, for you purists out there, I know that I'm not really, I'm not using tinfoil, I'm using um, ten, uh, aluminum foil duct tape. But, I mean, this is, this is all made for fun, so we can't take it too seriously. Um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is, I've already wrapped uh, aluminum foil uh, duct tape around the cylinder, which is nothing but uh, PVC couplings and reducers. Uh, we have, you know, just a piece of uh, a half inch rod and some two and a half pound weights, uh, you know, counterweights or whatever you want to call them and uh, just an old hinge and some more PVC uh, pieces for the reproducer. Uh, while we're mentioning the reproducer, let's swing around here past this Edison home phonograph and let's look at the reproducer. It's nothing but, like I said, a PVC coupling with some rubber gaskets. It's got a paper diaphragm and a needle mounted on a little piece of metal there. You've got to play with it, figure out how to do it yourself. But anyhow, that's the general idea. Now, we're going to pass off the camera here for a second. I'm going to see if I can record something here. So, we go around here and see if it works. Let's see if we can get this sucker to work here. Let's see. Got it right? Alright. Move that out the way. Hello, hello, hello! Hello, hello, hello! Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha! Alright. Let's see if this thing took. Move this chair out of the way. And rewind this toy here. I shouldn't call it a toy. That's not very respectful of Mr. Edison. But anyhow, we're rewinding it back, and uh, let's see here. This is just made from pieces from hardware stores and junk. Just, a, just an old file there. So let's see if we can hear anything. Time. I heard a little something there. You know, it takes a lot of practice with this thing. Uh, takes time to get it just right, and it has to be just right to work. The reproducer, the diaphragm, the needle, of course, are the most important parts. It's kind of frustrating at first, but you'll get it if you want to play around and try to make one. One more time. Just a, a home, Edison home there, kind of one of my prized possessions, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this, uh, this little toy here.